Yarek, welcome to the OK Conversation. Thank you. Good afternoon. Many thanks for inviting me. Thank you, Julius. Um, 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 how, how are you finding life in Liberia? How are you enjoying it? Well, we are enjoying. We are very busy. Uh, we are here for since the end of uh, August. Uh, uh, the election campaign is ongoing. We are meeting on a daily basis a number of interlocutors, so we are very busy. But uh, obviously we have uh, some time uh, in the evening to enjoy uh, Monrovia and, and Liberia. Have you been to Liberia before? It's my first time in Liberia, but for many of uh, my colleagues, uh, it's uh, second, third, even sometimes fifth time. Uh, yeah, so yeah. they are very experienced. Uh, uh, have you tested any Liberian cuisine? Of course, of course, and, I, and my favorite is uh, pepper soup, which okay. I'm uh, having uh, quite often, actually. And that is strange enough, because it, it, it is quite spicy and hot. <laughs> I like it, I like it very much. Ah, pepper soup. <laughs> we, we, we even have a song for pepper soup in Liberia. That's my, so far, the favorite uh, Are we dish. drinking pepper soup? Ah. Are you drinking? <laughs> okay, um, um, let us get into more serious business. Um, what is election observation? What is it, really? Well, um, this is, um, I would say, a, a commitment of the European Union uh, related to the promotion of uh, and consolidation of uh, democracy uh, in the world. Um, the EU, uh, for the last uh, 20 years, uh, has deployed over uh, 300 uh, election observation missions around the world. Um, we believe that uh, thanks to these missions, we contribute to the uh, democracy uh, in a country we are uh, uh, deploying. We are obviously always coming only under condition of invitation, so we are always invited. We don't come, obviously, uh, without invitation, but once we are invited, we are observing uh, the entire process, all the stages of uh, the electoral campaign. Uh, inv invitation from whom? Invitation from the authorities, obviously. Okay. So in this case, uh, we were invited by uh, the authorities of uh, the Republic of Liberia. And then uh, we are observing, um, you know, all the aspects of the electoral process. And most importantly, we are at the end, at the, upon completion of the election process, we are formulating the uh, recommendations uh, on how to improve uh, future elections. So answering your question, Julius, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we are here to help, to accompany, to um, uh, contribute to the consolidation of democracy in the first place. Good. Now, uh, um, um, what do you observe? Well, uh, so as I said, uh, this uh, uh, EU election observation missions cover all the elements of the electoral process. Uh, elections are it's not only the election day. Uh, elections uh, is uh, also the electoral framework, the election administration, the campaign, uh, including the campaign finance, uh, media and uh, social media landscape. We are uh, uh, assessing whether and to which extent uh, Liberia uh, is uh, uh, fulfilling its uh, uh, obligations uh, according to the treaties, uh, international treaties to which it uh, committed or ratified, but also um, assessing the, the way it fulfills the, the national laws. So, as I said, it's a comprehensive uh, process. Uh, we are covering all these aspects uh, of the uh, electoral process, but then obviously we also observe the election day. Okay, now uh, uh, um, it, it is a cumbersome thing uh, bringing all of you to get the, the resources, uh, you know, to come in and observe elections. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of money that goes into the work that you do. Uh, how, how are you able to get yourselves together and be here within the time window you are invited and then you start to mobilize and all of that? Well, as I mentioned, uh, Julius, uh, the European Union has a well-established methodology. You know, it's not the first time we are doing it. We okay. do it for the last 20 years. We uh, deployed over 300 missions. We are deploying uh, around 20 missions uh, per year to different countries, different continents. So, uh, you know, once we get an invitation, 
uh, we start preparations on, on the deployment of, of the mission and um, you know uh, we have it uh, quite well uh, rehearsed already tested uh, if I may say this is uh, for instance our third full full fledged mission uh, in Liberia we were here in 2005 uh, and in 2017, uh, with the full-fledged uh, election observation missions, we deployed a smaller team for 2011 elections. So we know the drill, uh, we know how to work, how to operate, uh, and uh, this is uh, not very difficult for us to deploy a mission. Mm. I, I know that you have long-term observers and short-term observers. Uh, in total, how many observers uh, are expected to be here? Right. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, uh, uh, here since the 27th of August. Um, I'm talking about the core team of experts, uh, so around 10 people who are covering this main uh, um, aspects of the process. Then on the 9th of September, we deployed uh, 20 long-term observers uh, across the country. They are observing uh, for, um, I mean, and reporting back uh, since the 9th of uh, September. Uh, they are uh, 20, as I mentioned. Then uh, we expect 40 short-term observers uh, to join the mission uh, on the um, 3rd of uh, October, so a week uh, prior to the election day. Then there will be also a, a group of uh, seven members of the European Parliament who will also join us uh, on the 6th of October. And uh, uh, last but not least, uh, 20 um, locally accredited uh, uh, diplomats uh, uh, will, I mean, diplomats from the EU member states uh, who are accredited in Liberia will join our efforts. So all in all, will be 100. Okay. Uh, and uh, all across the country across the country will be in, in all counties of uh, Liberia and will be uh, observing the opening counting uh, closing uh, I mean opening the the, the the voting of course uh, closing counting and and the, and the tabulation you know we are in the rainy season and some of the roads can be nearly impassable have your people been able to penetrate some of those places well, it's not. It's a bit challenging, of course, but it's uh, as challenging for us as for the Liberians. And uh, you manage. We also manage. Uh, of course, there are some difficulties. Uh, uh, we um, deployed some uh, observers uh, by air, uh, and uh, we will deploy also some short-term observers by air. But then, obviously, we have uh, strong cars, and uh, despite the, the and very experienced observers, and despite these harsh conditions. We are doing what it's what what what's possible, and basically uh, we uh, we were er everywhere so far. Well, I, I know all of those listening uh, will be very interested, especially on election day. Um, what do observers do? What would EU observers be doing, especially when the votes are being counted? How how do you observe that process? Well, we are basically uh, arriving, uh, I mean, f first of all, you know, our observers are, are starting early in the morning. Uh, so they see the, they observe the, the opening, then they uh, they are observing the, the process of voting, coming, going from one polling station to another. They stay minimum 30 minutes in one polling station. Uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, tailor-made uh, uh, election uh, observation forms, which uh, our observers are filling in, and then they are sending the, them to to uh, to the central office, and we are um, uh, compiling them and and uh, processing uh, with the help. Of then, uh, as for your question, counting, basically all of them, all those observers uh, who are uh, observing the vote, they choose randomly, of course, a polling station uh, around the closing. They arrive there some 30 minutes before and they observe the voting in that polling station and then they stay and observe the, the counting. Again, filling in these uh, election observation forms and sending us the, the, the forms uh, to process. I think you can also follow the EU election observers on Facebook. They have a Facebook page. Just type in EU E O M Liberia 2023, and you'll be able to get their Facebook page to follow and see all of what they've been doing throughout the country. Um, um, what are you present at the the 
the tabulation center where the all of the votes coming from across the country are finally tabulated before declared to the country. Are your observers present there? Yes, we will be uh, present at the tabulation center uh, since, uh, or, or I mean, the first thing we did uh, on the first day or, or second of our presence in, in Liberia was a meeting with National Elections Commission. So obviously uh, our experts, in particular election expert, is in uh, um, uh, regular contact with the NEC, uh, attending all the events, press conferences, uh, uh, and activities which are carried out at the National Elections Commission. Obviously, we will be there almost on, on a, a regular basis on the election day, uh, and uh, we will uh, um, uh, follow the process of tabulation and, and all the remaining uh, elements of the, of, the, of the election process at the NEC. Well, who all have you also met with uh, in, in terms of political parties, stakeholders, and all of that? Well, we met uh, all the key stakeholders uh, uh, who are involved in this electoral process. In the first place, the institutions in charge of the elections, so uh, mainly the National Elections Commission, uh, the uh, judiciary also, uh, the, including the Supreme Court, uh, the Minister of, of Justice. Uh, uh, we also met um, with the uh, security forces uh, who are also you know will play an important a certain role you know in order to uh, ensure the security but uh, then obviously we met the main actors of this process so the candidates uh, uh, both at, uh, the presidential candidates but also candidates running for the senate and house of representatives uh, we met uh, the religious leaders, uh, we met uh, the, the representatives of civil society, including domestic observers who play a very important role in this process. Uh, and uh, I would like to underline this important role they play. Uh, and also, very important, the representatives of the media. Mm. So uh, it's very, very important. You have also uh, a, a responsibility to bear in, in the course of this process. So we are uh, very happy that uh, we are in touch also with you. This is the OK Conversation. We are hosting the Deputy Chief Observer of the EU Electoral Observation Mission here, Jarek Domanski. Um, at the end of the day, what do you do with your uh, after the observation and the election? But first of all, before that last question, do your observers say anything uh, when they are observing? Do they ask questions? Do they say anything at any point in time? Maybe there is counting going on here or tabulation going on here. Do they say anything? Do they ask any questions? Very good question, Julius. Uh, indeed, uh, we can talk to the media, uh, as I'm doing it uh, now with you. Uh, also, all observers, I had uh, those who were observing in the counties, they had an opportunity to, to, to speak to the media. But in our uh, meetings, in our interviews, we limit ourselves to presenting the mission, uh, its methodology, and uh, the way it functions. We will not take uh, uh, any opinion uh, on uh, the process until our press conference, which uh, should take place uh, or will take place uh, on the second day after the election day, so on the 12th of uh, October. In the course of this press conference, the chief observer, uh, Mr. Andreas Schieder, will share with the public opinion the uh, so-called preliminary statement, so the first assessment, his first impressions on this election process. Prior to that, we will not make any statements. Okay. So uh, that is if your observers are in, for example, the tabulation center, and they are seeing this number, it should have been this, and the number is something else. They will just observe and not see anything. They will just observe, they will uh, fill in the observation okay, uh, forms me. and uh, send them uh, back to us. You know, we don't believe that one observer or another who is present in one polling station or another can have a global picture of what's going on. Electoral process uh, in any country is composed uh, of, uh, you know, it's, it's a serious uh, process which is taking place in the case of Liberia in almost 6,000 polling stations. So one observer, even if he uh, or she observes any kind of uh, irregularity, uh, cannot have the full picture. Uh, so uh, uh, we are a responsible uh, organization with a well-established methodology. So as I said, you know, we gather this information, 
we analyze it, process it with the statistician and uh, with the uh, IT programs which we are using. And then based on this thorough analysis, uh, we draw conclusions and we uh, make the statements to the public opinion. Otherwise, it would not be professional and would be even irresponsible. Okay. Then, uh, finally, what, 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 what do you do at the end? Well, uh, at the end, uh, we publish uh, the final uh, report, uh, which uh, uh, covers and comprises, uh, it's a comprehensive, let's say, analysis of the electoral process. It's a document of around uh, 80 pages, 60 to 80 pages, which, uh, with, uh, which uh, describes the, the process, uh, all the elements, uh, all the aspects of the process, which I mentioned before. And most importantly, it includes the recommendations, uh, a set of recommendations on how to improve uh, future elections. Obviously, these are uh, our vision or proposals, which uh, it's always up to the, uh, the, the authorities of, of Liberia, in this case, to take it or to reject it. Well, you were, you, you were here in 2017. I worked with you, and I know you have a voluminous document, uh, recommendations and all of that. Uh, have you seen any changes? Well, uh, out of uh, 23 recommendations which we proposed, uh, very few have been adopted, uh, but uh, there is a process, there was a process uh, on uh, some more of them, uh, which were considered as uh, quite useful. Uh, unfortunately, in, uh, uh, under this mandate, the work on the implementation of those uh, four or five, uh, which were considered as, as, as positive and useful, was not finished. But we were ensured by uh, several political actors that the work, uh, uh, this work will be continued in the future legislature. Okay, let us go to the public. Let's take a few calls. Uh, you're a very busy people. You have limited time with me. 0 -777 -700 0 I can use the headphone there. Please help me use the headphone. 0 -777 -700 -995, 0 995 Few questions from you, the public, strictly on election observation. Welcome. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. I just want to ask a simple question. Recently, in the, the EU came up with a statement. I want to know if that's an issue in La Croya. Which one? In and surrounding the credibility of the just ended election in if that statement was issued in Liberia, why they are trying to tell us? Why the, the, the interpretation of that statement? But I understand that uh, election is different from Liberia, so I don't know what. Yeah, the... that's what I, I'm trying to say. If, mm. if that statement, similar statement, come out with a statement that the government come up with him. That, uh, that no, but, but 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 how can we preempt now? And, and, and they got to observe our own election before they make statement. Uh -huh. Before they came out, uh, before they come out with a statement like that. Mm. But this criminal statement, I'm trying to say, a criminal statement. What was the statement? Concerning the, 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 the credibility of the, the, the just any election in Trevelyan. What did they say in their statement? They said, uh, uh, I can't read it, and uh, read it with far more time. Uh, but 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 uh, uh, but if you can really say then how can then how you have had it? I can't understand the basis of the question. A, 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 a long statement. I read it, but I can't read it. But what is your question really? You know, I gotta tell other people. But what's your question? My question, mm. my question, my question is concerning about the credibility. If there are them, any family, and they come away. We, 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 uh, oh, okay. Uh, you, you're saying if they observe foul play, yeah. will they be able to say that there was foul play in the election? Yeah. Uh -huh. But I want to say you won't go to Sierra Leone and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Now we want to... Yeah, I'm a yellow man in the Welcome. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Kofo Pasiwe, and I followed this afternoon from this screen number 11. Go ahead. Let me appreciate your guest this afternoon. I think he said it all. He came for a specific purpose, not to satisfy anybody, but for the sake of the country that we have for peace. So I want to cautiously write 
This is not only use their proximity or their stay in lab law to only do written documentation. If the fee passed to the election, right, 13 more days of election, I said to be corrected. If they notice that the election commission, the way they proceed is not credible, it better be raise the alarm sooner than for to go to the buyer passes and our country and in confusion. So I want to caution that thing. If you please start getting reports from the various center prior to the deployment of the election material, if they notice that the election commission, through her voice, through her activity, is not credible, they should raise the alarm instead of going to the election. That's my. Is that what observers can do? They don't. Uh, uh, they don't open so, uh, in your in, 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 in your electoral process. Oh. You know, you're telling me that the observer of VA noted that election commission is giving misinformation. They see, they're not raising the alarm. Right? We go to election and in chaos. Are you telling me? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, this person says, uh, I kindly ask the EU observer, what are they doing to ensure the next bus publishes the FRR as soon as possible as we proceed to the election of October 10? James Parsons in that one. Uh, let me see if there are other questions here before we go back to the lines. Take two more. Musa Keita says, what is the consequence of a rigged election by a certain government? Uh, Musa Keita in the U.S. wants to know that. Uh, this person says, uh, please ask him what prompted a statement. Is it that the American government has some intelligence about the election being rigged? I think that's a U.S. statement they released, uh, State Department. Emmett Bondo says that. Um, uh, let's see who's right here. Okay. Okay, let's take two more calls. Welcome, let's hear you. I'm fine, go ahead. Usman Abaya, I call you from Dr. Menge. Go ahead. I want to call you to ask the observer bell to the studio. What did he say about the statement of Joseph Baga and Finn Johnson? Thank you. We won't. We shall have a statement. Why he said that if they then win, they will be the end of the country. The poker to all the Ghanaian but thank you. <laughs> Observers do not speak to those matters, honestly. But anyway, <laughs> he is here. Go, go ahead. Let's hear you. The final call. Julia. Yeah. Good evening. Yes. Go ahead. Let's hear you. And let me say good evening to the guest. Mm. My name is Jeffrey Lewis, to the circle, and mm. I join the conversation from Central Monrovia. Julia. I listened to the guest and he's explained the role that they have come to play as elections observation team. So yes, normally I'm just one Liberian who do not even believe in these people for elections in every time. Let me say to you, Julius, these people will be in your country during elections time like this. They will see Broad things that are happening, they will never raise concern. The only people well, on what do you think? Game, what do you think is the role of election observers? Yes. Especially the uh, uh, foreign of observers. Observers, mm -hmm. you observe what passes, uh -huh. and you express what you observe. Okay. But none of them will say anything, Julius. Now, uh -huh. one, what, one of what is the let me raise it up so that so that maybe your yeah guess, quickly we don't uh, have enough time we we are, we are maybe, already maybe supposed your guess, to maybe your guess did not hear it or nobody raised it up to him or, or to his institution but the issue of this uh I call it vote fan of photo group that is being talked about all over this country the observer team is here yes, did not hear it they talking nothing about it hello Hello. Observers do not speak to the politics of the day. They will not speak to it. You know that. So, Julius, when the politics of the day will lead to chaos, to problem, you say the observer should not speak to it. I, 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 I didn't say should not. I said no, they, 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 they don't. You, you, you said they will not. They don't. So, Julius, that's what I'm saying to you. you Oh, so, so you want for Julia, hello, Julia, hello, yeah. you, you want for election observers when 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 George Wallace says something that you can't 
et toi. Joseph Wagato, son son, il est comme et toi. La National Elections Commission does this. Il est comme et toi. Ok, merci, merci. Ok, nous n'avons pas assez de temps. Je pense qu'il a fait son point. Mais laissons-nous aller à lui maintenant. Vous écoutez à la cause. Oui. Thank you, thank you for all these uh, voices. I see a lot of emotions, which is normal in democracy. Uh, so, uh, and of course, in this electoral period, in any country of the world, uh, you know, in my home country, Poland, we are expecting elections in two weeks. So, emotions are also quite high. This is normal. Uh, concerning the questions, where uh, first of all, you know, I think that uh, not everyone understood our mandate. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> as I said on a couple of a uh, couple of times in the course of the previous uh, uh, answers to your questions. We are not uh, here. We are not here to interfere. Uh, we are not here to supervise. We were invited to observe. We are impartial observers, and we cannot, uh, uh, you know, react. They tell Nick what to do or what not to do. Uh, in particular, and we cannot react. Also, take the floor in the course of the process. But let me reassure all those who are listening to us that uh, our report uh, is factual and uh, will be factual and credible and uh, we will not uh, be constrained to name the things as they are i mean we will be based on the facts and based on the observations okay. we'll be able to say everything what we uh, um, uh, believe uh, happened on the election day and prior to this uh, in the course of our press conference on the 12th of october so uh, please follow us uh, uh, this press conference will be available through facebook and i believe that the number of uh, media outlets will be present there and then uh, if you invite me uh, after in the week or or, or or two weeks after then i'm happy to come here and i'm happy to address all these questions which you might have on the lecture process, including on the next performance. Okay, good.